Amelia Bedelia tries her luck. Amelia Bedelia was getting ready to go to school when crash. I'm sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. Accidents happen, sweetie, said her mother. The important thing is that you are not hurt. At school, Amelia Bedelia told her friends about the accident. You're in trouble, said Clay. Breaking a mirror means seven years of bad luck. Seven years, said Amelia Bedelia. That's almost my whole life. Even worse, said Rose. Today is Friday the 13th. Bad luck gets doubled today. That's 14 years, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll have bad luck forever. Amelia Bedelia, said Joy. You can change your luck. That's right, said Heather. My dad always says, see a penny, pick it up. All day long you'll have good luck. Amelia Bedelia picked up Penny. Put me down, said Penny. Heather means a penny queen, not a penny person. At recess, the whole class tried to help Amelia Bedelia change her luck. They searched for a four-leaf clover. They looked for a lucky horseshoe. They tried to find a rabbit's foot. The playground didn't have any of those things. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Clay. We struck out. You are out of luck. Amelia Bedelia made a plan. If she could not find luck, she would make her own luck. Amelia Bedelia's teacher, Miss Edwards, saw her drawings. She also saw that Amelia Bedelia was upset. Are you all right? asked Miss Edwards. No, I'm all wrong, said Amelia Bedelia. She told Miss Edwards about breaking the mirror and her double bad luck. Amelia Bedelia said to Miss Edwards, Today is my lucky day. Friday the 13th is the perfect day to talk about luck. The class listed lucky and unlucky things. They talked about bad luck and good luck. There were all kinds of questions. Miss Edwards told the class a story. When I was your age, she said, one thing really scared me. It was, step on a crack, break your mother's back. That's terrible, said Amelia Bedelia. But it isn't true, said Miss Edwards. Just like breaking a mirror isn't bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck, said Clay. It's bad luck for a mirror. Everyone laughed. Amelia Bedelia laughed hardest of all. She felt a lot better. As Amelia Bedelia was walking home, she saw a crack in the sidewalk. Bad luck, ha, she said. She stepped on the crack. She stepped on every crack she saw. When she spied the biggest one of all, Amelia Bedelia stomped on it. Then Amelia Bedelia turned onto her street, and she stopped in her tracks. There was an ambulance in front of her house. Amelia Bedelia raced home. Breaking the mirror was an accident. But she had stepped on those cracks on purpose. Mom, yelled Amelia Bedelia. I didn't mean to break your back. The ambulance was pulling away. Mom, cried Amelia Bedelia. Mom. Amelia Bedelia said her mother. I'm with Miss Adams, said sweetie. Amelia Bedelia whirled around. Her mom was with the neighbor, their neighbor. Her back was fine. Amelia Bedelia ran to her mom. She gave her the biggest, longest, strongest hug ever. Ouch, honey, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Do you want to break my back? No, never, said Amelia Bedelia. You just missed the excitement, said Miss Adams. I got a ride home in an ambulance after my checkup. Are you okay? asked Amelia Bedelia. I am fine, said Miss Edwards, knock on wood. Then Miss Edwards knocked three times on her porch railing. Tomorrow, Amelia Bedelia would add knock on wood to the list her class had made. Today, worrying about luck had worn her out. Amelia Bedelia thought about her family and her great friends. She thought that the mirror Miss Adams had given her was cool. Amelia Bedelia felt like she was the luckiest person in the world.